Well, this is one of the days that it's kind of windy outside. I decided to go ahead and pull this spindle apart. For those of you that haven't followed along, this is a 10EE Monarch spindle from the $7,000 mistake lathe. Now, I've been accused of clickbaiting with my $7,000 title. Folks, it was a $7,000 mistake on the part of my friend. He bought this lathe sight unseen at an auction. No way to test it. He was probably overpowered by the thought of it being a 1990 machine and hell, how bad can it be? Well, he spent $7,000 in total. He found out that won't cope at 1500 RPMs. The boards and electronics in it have been changed out. They're not the right kind. They won't drive it correctly. It's supposed to go 4,000 RPMs. Has no power even at 1500. Second thing we found was they had crashed this machine horribly. Spindle bearings are shot. The Spindle is bent by two thousandths of an inch and then to add insult to injury they ground off the nose of it so that they could put a uh, chuck on it that would run halfway straight but then and then they had to put lead tape in there and suck it down on it so it was a big mistake I bought it from my friend I paid him as much as I could for it but it wasn't nowhere near seven thousand dollars Another kind gentleman up in Canada sent me a replacement spindle that we think will work. I had to do some modifications on it. Uh, I had to make a, a sleeve for a bearing boss to give it a little bit more width. Uh, out of an inch and a half, it, um, the replacement spindle, it only had an inch and an eighth. So it's double bearings, it should be fine. I made a uh, bearing bronze sleeve for it. One of the reasons I made this was I can scrape this in if I have to. That's why I didn't go with the stainless steel. So anyway, that goes on that other one there. This is one of my mistakes. It's 38 thousandths thick. Tried to make it perfect. And it came really close. Oh, by the way, uh, this is not a mold, folks. It's just a scar from a lobotomy gone wrong, so it's not a mold. Anyway, I'm going to take off this labyrinth seal off the old one and uh, change it over to the new spindle, the new old spindle. On these, this nut here has a, a set screw with a brass pad underneath it on both sides. It's pretty tight. Got it locked down in a vise here on the planer table. We're going to see if we can... got an assortment of hammers here. I'll start off with the lowest and go to the highest. Now this is the old spindle. I've got it locked down in this vise so it won't turn. And I don't really care if we damage that one or not. The only part I need off of it is this labyrinth seal. Going the right way, didn't work worth a darn. Dang. They got that sucker locked in there pretty good. I know the Try 
it again. Try a little sharper. Now we got some movement. There we go. That was on there tighter than I thought it would be. I don't want to lose these brass pads because the uh, the donor spindle didn't have them. Did you leave the door to the house open for any reason? Not open, open. Yeah, just wide open. Just didn't shut it right. I guess I didn't. Open. Sorry, I didn't realize you were getting weak. Well, that was interesting. I'm going to take that screw out before I damage it. Yep, it's got a brass in the bottom. Oops, so I need to go forward before I go too far backwards. What I didn't take out was this little uh, key. Viewer sent me a tip to use lead caning pliers on these things. Well, I didn't see anything on eBay called lead caning pliers. Now, the one disadvantage of Setting this up on my planer table is there's slots and holes there. That there in case I do that. Crap. If you leave the door open. And anybody walks into your shop. This is true. I'm in here working. You can come in. I'm resting. You're it's resting? Heavy. <laughs> it's heavy. It's heavy? Oh. All right, let's get this out so we can move this off the table. Don's brought his stuff over so we can fix it. Taking the labyrinth seal off of this old one, getting it ready to go on the new one. That goes on. pads and there's the other one in there. So you gotta not lose those. What you doing Don? Chilling. You know that thing looks almost identical. I need to mark it to know which way it goes on there. My luck. 
They're too soft. No diving board. Not a diving board. It's a precision vise. Play with my deal. Okay. That's this the one side. This one doesn't have the same thing on it? Nope. If you notice. Yeah, it's totally uh, different, isn't it? I guess you can see here. This piece right here or that piece right there? It's this piece right there. This is a labyrinth seal. And the oil has to go through such a torturous path to get out. It doesn't. That one is just a plain pressure plate that puts pressure on the, the, yeah. this. And somebody's boogered the crap out of it. Well, no kidding. It might have been in there. It's even been on, it's even on there backwards. Huh. Oh well. But you know we have this part, we can put it all on that. They probably took it apart when they when they messed with yeah. the uh, spindle nose. Well, they took a punch and tried to get that off instead of going and buying the correct tool. That's correct. Ooh, that slides. Put the inner one and the outer Spacer there. That oil. Made in USA. Thrust. It's Barden. B A R D E N. That's all I needed off of this one. Hands all rolling now. Take that out. Don't see any reason to. Uh, Keep any of this, it's all bent. The bearings are shot. The only thing good would be these collars. That's what adjusts your preload on the goodies. Okay. Why didn't you go with me to cardiac rehab this morning? You could have done all my work for me. Really? And I'd have been happy. All right. I do want to take care of. This is the tachometer gear. And by the way, the tachometer gear was good on that spindle, and I've already sent it off to another lathe that needed one. Kind of sharing the wealth. And has one brass plug in it, and that's it. <coughs> Got all kinds of stuff coming in. 
Heavy stuff. Heavy stuff. It'll keep you young. Hmm. It'll kill you one. This is true. The Gibbs wrapped up in it. No, okay. Right it's right right tight too. Right right. Yeah, that's a good one. That hammer was lazy. It did not want to work today. This hammer. <laughs> All right, why are you not working? It might move a little bit. Did it? No, okay. it was just vibrating. Well, hit it again. This is the good one. We don't want to mess it up. In fact, before we get going too far, there is a uh, tachometer key right there. And I need to get out of the way. It's a set screw, but it's got the set screws out of it, and it's got a brass plug underneath okay. to protect the threads. Just checking. Just checking. Got that part. I have nothing underneath, right? Just checking. No. Okay. That didn't do anything. That's a bad one to catch on. It's really boogered up. This one under here would be better if you could turn it. Problem here, you hit it. Make yourself useful. You turn the spindle. I can't because we're uh, using a key in the spindle. Now those are my hands. Okay, stop going. Okay, now go to something that'll impart a. Now I can hit you. No, you cannot hit me. Damn, that thing's on there. Why? Did it lock tight it? Don't look like it. You see any red, blue? Reds are clean. Rotated. Sure, you're going the right way, right? You double check the thread. That's the way the other one came off. Okay. See, that's the yeah, blood's it's almost out. Yeah, that's normal thread. Get a, uh, a little tube and get a little, a little leverage on it instead of banging on it. You have a little thick pipe. That's it. It may. I was going to use the other spindle. <laughs> Oh, 
we're not going to do that. I don't want to make that into the spindle. Yeah. Shape. Now you know what you might beat the hell out of it. Only way to get it off. You're not going to use that again anyway, right? No. Beat the hell out of it. But if this is doing the same thing. Yeah. I'm not shocking it as much though when you hit it. Mm, that's a tight one. That is a tight one. But see, well, I guess this, I guess it is tight against that. No, that's regular thread. See, it's going this way. Yeah, I'm going the right way. You're going the right way. Pipe wrench time. I'm afraid because of the way you are holding it here. You don't want to if I, it. Huh? Yeah, you don't want to mess that up. I'll mess that part of the tube up. Yeah. And I'm mm. keeping these bearings, so I don't want to. Can't hold it on this end better. Get them hot. I mean, that's a lot thick of metal there. You want to crush that versus this long tin tube. It's a thought. It's a thought. She had to put a pin in there. Well, that's in. that's about the only way you could do it. Just gonna go easy on you there. You can tighten that up pretty good anyway. It's not gonna crush that. There you go. That might work. Put an Allen wrench in there. I don't know what that is. This is a square. A little socket, quarter inch socket adapter. So Chuck here, would you tighten that up here, Don? It's gonna come up, it's gonna rotate up. That might hold it though, no? Probably pop it up the back. Pop it back up. Well, you know I'm going to start selling insurance on the back of your shirt again. Or insurance advertising. Can you miss me? See? I do. See? That's going to pop up. All right. Well, let's up. get it in a better. Elevation. Does that help it any? Yeah, maybe. Try that. Nope. Nope. I'm going to shock it with this hammer. Where's the hammer? Where's the hammer? Yeah, booger didn't want to come out. That was on there tight. 
thousand foot pounds of torque. What you've done. <laughs> Wasn't you, was it? Mm -hmm. I didn't have anything to do with it, officer. I'm an involuntary participant. You were, huh? He made me do it. Let's see if this will slide out of there. Yeah. All right. I'll pick it up and pull it out. That goes out. Okay, just put it back in there now. Okay. See, they had this thing this way where the other one was this way. Mm -hmm. And I think that's correct because it has a larger yeah. surface to go against. Makes sense. It was backwards. We don't need these two pieces. Remember where my chip brushes are. I think I'm going to start giving my toolboxes names. Bobette. Lost that. Can't find that. Oh, I find it. Where did I put it? Just head? which, which, which toolbox? Okay. This side goes here. See what I'm doing. Try that. Okay, we got that all off of there. Take this screw out here. Everything's out of that. See the difference and see the same thread after all these years. So it doesn't go the other way, then? No, it's the very last area of that thread is tight on there. No, I mean, the, the wide doesn't go against that. Well, it wouldn't matter. You were just saying that earlier, that's why. It won't matter because... Yes, it does, but I can't get it to thread on there. I was just asking I was the just, first thing I noticed. That I'm just, well, you're very observant. I am. But I'm trying to see if it'll clean up that little thread. There wasn't anything major on it. So I'm just... Gotcha. Trying to see what's going on.
Well, that's full threaded on now. Let's take it off and see if we can turn it around. Did I show you my scar I had? Mm -mm. The one that's not a mole? Mm -mm. It's an old lobotomy scar. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. That, that explains a lot. Yeah. I've been going to doctors and rehab so much. I got an appointment tomorrow with a who I don't even know who it is. It's the way it is when you get old, man. What do you do for a living? Go to doctors, man. Make the doctors benevolent, fun, happy. In case anybody wondering, I am still making progress on my shaper. No, you're not. I've, you're I've given, I've over given here. Steve two videos who he refuses to publish them for some reason. I don't know why. <sighs> here I am, just recovering from a major heart attack, working two jobs, and you still come over here. It's part of your therapy. Yeah, part of my therapy. The doctor my told ass. me I need to aggravate you, get your blood pressure back up. No. They're giving me medicine to keep it down. And they're doing a they're doing a fine job of it too. Dang, I just took a touch. There you go. It started. Sure, we're not cross threading it. No, it ran around twice. Pretty easy. That'd be a kick in the teeth. Hmm. Cross thread and gift from God. You know, you have a little faith, see? Booger that other one up so bad getting it off. You didn't have the right tool for the right job, that's why. Things so slick I have to use a wrench. <laughs> <laughs> that's when you know somebody else is working on a piece of equipment that doesn't belong to them and they don't care what the hell they do to it. Or they couldn't be bothered to go get the right tool. You know what's coming. We have to put this thing back under pressure like it was. Is that preload on that bearing? Those. are what keeps the load on that bearing. Those uh, collars, collars, cylinders, whatever you want to call them, they keep, there's two of them. Yeah, behind it. There's one on the outer race, there's one on the inner race. The problem is we got to make them both work. <sighs> well, that would make it work. Hmm. Is it right on the cam? <laughs> Yeah. Now, 
we got to make sure that's lined up before we put any more pressure on it. You can put an indicator on it. I think that would work fine. I think that would work fine. This piece doesn't go on that one. Huh? This piece doesn't go on that one. No, it does go on. It's the only one I have left. I gave the other one to another man that was having problems. Pretty good. Pretty good on that one. So now we're going to swing it over. Get it on that one. Tap it, tap, tap. Like that's the high spot right there. That's another one out of there. On in that hole. Don't go in that hole, Steve. Okay. I'm about ten thousand out right now. I'll take a little more pressure up on this. Moved it a long way. Right there. Didn't move much. or seven thousand so not even that much right there and right on that bearing there move that back a little bit well I want it on the bearing you if know, you put that on this, oh yeah, it'll move it. It'll move that. I wouldn't even put that rag. It. I wouldn't even put the rag under it. In fact, I'd move this where it don't do any of that. Just on the bearing. Hands are dirty. How did my hands get dirty? It's bitch, bitch, man, Dave. That's pretty tight. You picked up the little widget key that was on here. Do what? 
picked up the little wood drill key that was on right there. Okay. Those of you that don't know, put a little piece of brass in the little hole right here. Before you insert your Allen screw, booger up the chat. And it doesn't mess up the threads. But I have seen some machines that some Yahoos think that. It's okay. Don't need that. They're wrong. It's windy out there. Well, they're only wrong if you have to take it apart again. Well, yes. Then they're really wrong. When Steve comes along and you've messed it up. Can y'all see? Not very exciting. This is great. I've forgotten which way it goes. I think it goes this way. But that's great about having videos done. You can check it out when you tore it apart. Is it for the tachometer or something? Yeah. I'm not going to put that all the way rest on there until I figure out Take which is sure, which. Make sure it's right. Yeah. One thing we have left to do now on this one is to glue this in place. And frankly, it don't even need glue in there. Oh, you think it needs glue? But, hey, I bought it. Might as well use it. Might as well use it. For those of you, I have a negative COVID test or pregnancy test. I'm not pregnancy really sure. It, it, it doesn't matter. Know, it looks kind of pregnant, so maybe. Yeah. Okay. All oh, you guys that live on a diet of Swedish meatballs. Yeah. Oh, you've been eating better. You've been, been eating better. Getting those. What the? Uh, Simple meals. HEB. HEB. Ready prepared meals. meals. You just have to cook a little. Yeah. And it works. All right. I'm going to pull it off the ice. Slam it down on the table. You know, while I'm sitting here. Might as well do that and then it's ready to stick in there. No, I think some acetone just clean that up. I think evaporate, you're right. Is that right with no it residue and is that some uh, is that a gallon of it by your feet? Nope. <laughs> I couldn't tell it was that bad until I cleaned the grease off. Oh really? Didn't see the crack till I cleaned the grease off. Oh. It was filled, you know, there's the whole crack was full of grease. You're half blind anyway. So not that blind. Not that blind. This first thing I do is cut these stupid dumbass plastic rings off of there. I'm a very safe type person. Yeah, you got I some many kids running around, around here, yeah. You run around here. Clean the whole thing because you got to slide over that yeah. crap too. Huh? 
I love acetone. That stuff works great. Best cleaner stuff ever. And it's only been found to cause cancer in California. Yeah, we don't live in California. That's so. right. So we're okay. Thank God I don't live in California. <laughs> Land of wackadoodles. Ah, there's, there's a few good people in California. Northern California. You north of San Francisco, people are pretty normal. All right. You get a little white cap on there, you can find it DC in the dark. Pain in the ass. <laughs> a little cap. My hands are so greasy, if I pick it up, I'm going to transfer it back. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm going to go wash my hands first, let that dry real good. Bought a floppy drive emulator for the CNC machine. Did it come in? It came in. Where is it? Oh boy, sells these modified. He puts this little dial on it and changes some of the wiring inside. And <coughs> now it should be all one big, easy to use drive. I have another one that makes 99 sections though. So it just turns it into a USB? Yeah. Cool. Stick a USB in there. And when I get a chance, we're going to plug it in. I've been running it. Got some straps here. So you can what? configure it for different things. Yeah, he uh, used some of those pins in the back. They changed, because of the chip shortage, they changed the way they do things. And he gives all the free instructions on what you have to buy. But for $12, you can buy it already modified. Yeah, yeah. I mean, some people just like to do it themselves anyway. You know? uh, I, I understand that, but... All right, let's let's put some of this on there. I used to be an electronic geek. Remember back in the seventies, in, in uh, popular science, they had a schematic for a board that would get all the TV, all the channels on cable oh, TV. Oh, on the cable yeah, or on the cable. satellite? No, on cable. cable. And, uh, and I built, and I built it, and it worked. Wait, 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 wait! But you never used it, right, Don? Wink, wink. No, wink. I used it. God. I'll admit it. I don't think there's a statute of limitations on that. You're going to jail. It was pretty easy back then, though, because all they did was strip the sink pulse from the horizontal oscillator. So, you know, the channel was there. It was just like all sideways waving. You couldn't see it. Yeah. But, so all this... It was because they did that on purpose, Don. All this board did was insert the sink pulse back in, and you had a little pot where you could tune it right in. Yeah. Just lucky Jay Hoover isn't still. I was a different person back then. That's when I was young, immature. <laughs> That's before I got old enough and wanted to decide I want to go to heaven. You're still working on that. Still working <laughs> on that. Still working on that. All right, this is the good piece. You sure it's not this big? It won't slide on. I'm <laughs> just trying piece. to mess you up, trying to make sure. Rotate it on to get it to go. It's a good fit. Perfect fit. It's tighter up in here. That's a good thing. Now I use that one. Let me have to push it, it in. To push it in. Yeah. You know how much time I got to See do. how just a little half thousand made a huge difference. That was a screw up. Or you planned it that you, I need, planned you it that needed way. one to push I, it in. I needed yeah. one to do that. I understand. Does that stuff weak in too? Or? No, you're supposed to put it on and then shove it on. Well, I would start shoving pretty soon then. Well, I hit it on first. All right, here we go. Dally, dally. There you go. Okay. 
keep rubbing it around. I know, I'm trying, it's dripping. We'll go this way. Takes a little while to set up, I'm sure. All right. Takes a while to set up. Once again, I used the bearing bronze. I've decided on it instead of the stainless steel because I can scrape this bearing in. We used to scrape bearings if I need to, but I don't think that it doesn't turn to. anyway. Nothing. No, turns. It, all it does is go into that shaft. Nothing turns on there, right? Nope. No, it goes a, into a, there's two bearings. <coughs> Take an inch and a half of this shaft. It's just a space holder that's all. It's just it. trying to make it better. <coughs> all right. So it's done. It is now Turned ready up. to go back in the machine. If this is right. If well, you have got to check that. Good deal. See, when I come over, you get things done. Amazing. Don't get my naps done. <laughs> All right, let's clean this off now. And we will be able to... No, I don't carry my weapon as often as I did because I have to go to the hospital all the time. Mm -hmm. But I know where it is, Don, and you're over there just egging me on. All right. If you would put these hammers in the hammer drawer. I don't know which one's the hammer drawer. The hammer drawer, and there's one more somewhere. Is in that toolbox out there about four or five drawers down. Oh, you left it open. I, just for you. Yep. Yeah. 